All right, guys, this is a, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my voice, but this is a very exciting video to make for me. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, very exciting video for me. There's going to be a massive change coming to the tank right now. My phone is blowing up right now. Um, so what's going to be happening is the LED lights are going away. Um, just even with these, these, I don't really want to call them crappy. I mean, anyways, even with these Odyssey fixtures, the amount of growth and color that I've seen in, in the coral, um, has amazed me enough to completely switch the tank over to T5s. I'm not knocking the Reef Breeder LEDs um, at all. I mean, they've done me well for so long. I've been using LEDs for frickin' ever. Um, so I can't knock them, but I just feel like I'm getting a little bit better coral growth and color with the T5s. Um, so I went ahead and ordered a T5 fixture and a whole bunch of light bulbs. So I went, uh, I went with the ATI SunPower 48 inch 8 bulb fixture. So I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys and also it'll be good if uh, anything's broken I can send the video to ATI. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up, see what the packaging's like, see what the fixture looks like. I'm so excited. All right, so there's our fixture. Wow, wait a minute, that thing is pretty. Go, 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 move, go, 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 move it. All right. Okay, so that's, I would say that's pretty secure, these foam blocks. Um, the fixture's not in direct contact with the box at all, so I was a little bit worried about this bang mark right here, but didn't even get close to the fixture. So that's pretty cool, the foam blocks. Um, the light's completely suspended inside of the of the box. There's plenty of room around it, so if the box does get a little bit crushed, it's not going to hurt the fixture, hopefully. So, it's not as wide as I was expecting it. That's, that's one of the biggest things I... One of the biggest things why I didn't order this thing, like, a lot sooner is the fixture's 17 inches wide. So, 17 inches just didn't seem that wide to me, especially when I'm trying to cover... Uh, 30 inch or I'm sorry 36 inch wide tank so um, I did a ton a ton a ton of research on the fixtures I asked a bunch of people on Reef Central Nano Reef and uh, uh, the Zeovit site I asked a ton of people about the coverage of these um, lights and it was pretty much unanimous that the 8 bulb fixture would do just fine to cover this the spread of my tank um, so <laughs> here we are. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this out. Let me move this, uh, maybe not. Those are my light bulbs, those are next. So let's uh, finish pulling this out of the box here. Nice squishy foam blocks. I heard ATI had like a uh, 10 bulb fixture, I think. 8 bulb fixture, or 10 bulb, 12 bulb, I don't remember. But I, for the life of me, could not find that fixture anywhere except for, like, in Europe or some shit like that. So, that was kind of disappointing because I would have definitely bought that one. Really wish I could have found that one in 10 or 12 bulbs. That would have been great. So, let me go ahead and take the panties off of this bitch. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Lights are coming on. I just got done doing a video right now of how my rail system works for the LEDs before I get rid of them because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. All right, so it looks like it comes with basically a, a general how to get the light going and maintenance of the system. That's pretty cool, so I'll read over that, see exactly what kind of uh, maintenance this system requires so I can keep up on that. Um, okay, tips and troubleshooting. Uh, here's some warranty information, which I definitely... I'm going to be filing. So there's that. And we have probably a warranty card, right? Oh no, this is just a warning. Not recommended for installation inside of a canopy or other enclosures. Great news, I don't have a canopy. Let's cut this saran wrap. I'm excited. Oh my god, I'm excited. Alright, wow, okay. 
So what I like here is they had this foam where all of this crap laid on top of it so it didn't scratch the top of the fixture. I don't see any scratches or anything, no dents. Nice. I love the look of those cooling fans. Man, that is sexy. All right, let me finish cutting this off. Well, there's another thing I'm liking. So the light comes pre-installed with um, these, uh, I don't even know what the hell to call these. I don't know, this cable. Comes pre-installed with the cable, and I know there's a little fitting in here, and they bubble wrap that so that doesn't scratch the fixture. So great job on the packaging. Really, really nice. I'm going to cut this end off. So far, the packaging is great. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, okay, this is our splash guard. And wow, look at those reflectors. Damn. Well, that one's a little messed up. That kind of sucks. Wow. I can see the bright light already. Those are bright. Wow, we. Um, I like that they left the Lexan with the uh, protective sheathing on it. And I'm assuming that just slides in here somehow. Yeah, okay. Um, individual reflectors for each bulb, even though it looks like it's one, but there's different reflectors in here. Some of them look uh, definitely dinged up inside of here. I hope that doesn't really mess with anything. Um, you know, from, the, from, from what I heard of the quality of ATI fixtures, these are kind of flimsy. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll see how they perform. So yeah, here's the reflectors, total of eight bulbs. And we'll go over bulb combination here soon enough. Flip the fixture over this way. And beautiful, looks like a stainless steel housing, casing, whatever you wanna call it. And we got the three cooling fans on top. Those look sleek and sexy. Let me put this down here. And we got our power supply here for our fans. Let's see. We can change the voltage on it. That's different. So we'll be reading some instructions on that for their recommendations. So there's the fan power supply. And then this is the power supply right here for the actual ballast for the light. What I like is... <laughs> This, all eight bulbs come out on one cord, and then I have two channels that, if I'm remembering correctly, one channel turns on two bulbs, and the other channel turns on the other six, if, I'm under, if I remember correctly. And then, here is all the hardware for the hanging kit. It's a very simple, sleek, and easy to install. Um, hanging kit that I am going to be using. I am going to be suspending it from the ceiling. I watched their videos on how this is done and uh, it looks very simple and it actually looks pretty clean even though this is like one of the most simplistic looking hanging kits you could ever get. So there's that. We'll come back for uh, unboxing the bulbs. Alright so next is going to be the bulbs. I'm hoping that they pack the bulbs kind of like uh, Bulk Reef Supply does. Um, Bulk Reef Supply puts them in these big uh, cardboard tubes and then they put them in a box and they even had some peanuts in there. So let's see how these ones are packaged. I see a lot of foam. I'll put a link to the uh, website that I got this fixture from. Great prices and the shipping was so fast. I ordered it on Saturday and today it's, uh, what is today? <laughs> Wednesday? So, no, today's not Wednesday. I don't know, whatever day it is. The shipping was fast, it didn't take long. So, okay, so no, no cardboard uh, cylinder sleeve, but we got foam on top and bottom that keep it away from the box for the most part. And looks like they wrapped it in bubble wrap. So, let's go ahead and undo. Oh, okay, it's inside of a box. Okay, okay. This uh, this company can really package some stuff. Unless these came directly from ATI, which I'm still impressed. 
All right, let's uh, take these little corner pieces off here. I don't think I took that one off. Nope. You can go there for now. Take that one off. I'm having a hard time believing that there are eight bulbs in here. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Went with all ATI bulbs. five HOs. I went with two purple plus two aqua blue specials and probably my most favorite light bulb is the blue plus so there's two of the blue plus and then I went with even more blue plus. So there's our light bulbs and there's our fixture. I'm really hoping that later on tonight, I gotta go take my daughter to uh, a doctor's appointment um, like now and then I gotta go return a carpet machine that I rented. So I'm hoping tonight I can get these taken down, which will be simple. What's this? Oh, there's a wire hanging. Ugh, ugly. There's a wire coming through the fan. Dislike. Um, so yeah, I'll get these taken off tonight. Um, and I really <laughs> I want to get this set up tonight. I can't even. Oh, you guys don't even know the excitement I have right now for this freaking light. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing blue plus, four blue plus, two aqua blue special, and two purple plus in this fixture and uh, that's just a combination that I felt comfortable with right now I'm running um, ATI's Actinic and Blue Plus in these two uh, Odyssey fixtures there's this fixture here and that one there like I said I just got done doing a video of my my light rail system so I took that one off the tank I've been really super duper impressed with the uh, Blue Plus uh, the Actinic I can't really see it too much unless I pull the, the uh, Blue Plus bulb out but the Actinic looks nice too, so I'm probably still going to use the Actinic in these fixtures um, on either side of this fixture here, but we'll see. I can't wait to see what the spread looks like. Um, I want purple plus just so I have that purple hue in the tank. I want the blue plus because I think it's sexy, and I went with the aqua blue special just so we can kind of add some white to all the blue and purple. So uh, even though the aqua blue special is still a pretty blue bulb, it has a really good spectrum in the white, yellow, green, red, and, you know, LMLMP, all the rest of it. So, um, here it is. I got to clean up my mess now. I got to go pick the kid up and take her to the doctor. Go return my carpet machine. Come home tonight and install this baby. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Later.